Hi there, my name is Samuel, welcome back to another video where today we've got some really exciting news regarding LEGO Ninjago 2022. Apologies, I know it did get released at the back hand of last week, but I didn't want to cover it because I weren't completely sure about Brick Fanatic, who is a reliable LEGO like leak source or news page outlet. They've actually confirmed quite a lot of this and said it themselves, which does add a bit more credibility to it. But please remember, like any news, rumor, leak video for anything that you watch for TV shows, books, anything like that, remember that it is all just rumor at this point in time nothing is set in stone and confirmed until lego directly says it or they show photos of it so please remember that and this is basically going to be for legacy and the seasonal sets they're now saying that the legacy sets will be january again and march will be the seasonal sets which honestly i like it splitting it up but for me i prefer seasonal sets over legacy and honestly i'm kind of getting bored in legacy because it's good to see them but the fact that they don't really pay any importance to the show kind of dwindles my interest in them just because i a bit like are they that relevant do i really want to spend my money on something that isn't actually going to be that relevant for a while so yeah let's get straight to straight to this so we don't have any prices apart from the final one or set numbers but starting off we have jade's thunder dragon which technically this could be three different things so this could even be a season 16 set which we are just going to go with season 16 i've seen lots of debate talks man because apparently thank you to the person who commented apparently they're now saying it's not confirmed what season we're on so really everyone this seems like more like a fan community thing so i think we're all going for season 16 so we got that could be jay's thunder dragon as in a new dragon yes it could be a jay season which sort of lines up with everything but then it, again it could be the original one from 2011 or is it tw no 2011 it was sorry the big one the big lightning dragon or it could be the one from skybound the season six set which honestly would make sense considering that that's where we're catching up with a legacy and the word thunder and lightning like due to like translation and stuff like that it can i believe merge into one another i believe that's how it works some words in other languages of course mean different things and through translation things get lost and made mixed up and confused so this definitely could be three different things honestly but when i think about it i really hope it is the 2011 one because how cool would it be if we have kai's jay's cole's and like zane all of them redone i think that'd be absolutely incredible then next up we've got lloyd's car which some are saying that this potentially could be a sons of gomelon set i don't think so it makes no sense because they're skipping basically all the skybound all of um, Day of the Departed and quite a lot, well, all of Hands of Time as well. I know they're not as popular, those two, but still, you can't skip them. So, yeah, Lloyd's Car, I definitely think, will be a Season 16 set. As well as Zane's Power Up Mech, I'm really hoping that it'll be sort of like the buildable Harry and Hermione. Like, what if Zane can go into this, like, massive mech version of Zane and it looks like him? That would be absolutely incredible. So, that's what I think for his Power Up Mech. Then we got an Injolo 4 Plus set, which is said to be a mech. Apologies, I did not write that down there, but apparently, this is going to be a mech, which I think this one will be from season two legacy of the green ninja due to the fact that kai has that small meg which looks really nice and i don't see them doing zanes because that how could you go from that good to that bad but then again they did do that with the lightning mech we're not going to talk about that but yeah, I think it will be Kai as it honestly makes more sense. Then next up, we've got Legendary Dragon, which again, now some are saying could be hunted. No, I don't think so. Because apparently in the season, they're going to go a bit more mythology with elemental power is the rumor, especially the elemental power of Amber, which considering Ember is every elemental power or she can absorb them. To me, that like Legendary Dragon sort of all ties into maybe a dragon who firstborn is the first. But what if firstborn men created like a dragon with all of the elements with help from like the first Binjitsu Master and Wajira, of course, Jiro basically created an element of water and wind so that really adds up to that so I think that again will be a season 16 set then we have got the Kai vehicle which this could definitely be a number of different things but I think a Kai vehicle I'm pretty confident that this actually will be a set I want to say for season 16 it really doesn't make sense that they'll do any more legacy ones then we got power spin jutsu j if you watched yesterday's video that is the one we're on about so we got j kai and lloyd yeah we've seen them most probably won't be canon like they normally are then we got the ninjago city modular 120 dollars 120 euros and most probably about 90 to 100 pounds which honestly i think that set will be bulk tower there's some saying it will be some saying it won't be but at this point in time we don't directly know but considering that they hinted it saying that they, like in one of the designer interviews i believe someone asked from last year in the land network lego were basically like hey yeah we know we're working on it we're trying to make it good which they said that about the atat walker and here we should be getting one at the end of this year for star wars so i'm really hoping like that is what they do It'd be great to get a new pixel minifig especially like the new silver hair piece that'd be absolutely incredible well i mean what they did in that like satellite set i believe it was that uh, white rocket set that they did earlier on in the year they did this like new silver coloring for the pieces so i'm hoping that they can do that for pixels hair like i've said so that'd be really awesome to see 
and get a finally a Cyrus Borg mini figure, maybe a Masake, but that would be quite dark if they did. But yeah, that's what I think. That and actually, I've got one more note I want to say about Lloyd's car. This technically, sorry, could be the white car from Rebooted. That is definitely a possibility in my mind. Thinking about it really makes sense. Sorry, I forgot to add that one. But yeah, those are the lists. So if we have a look at the left and at the right, that is sort of what I categorize. You can see I put Lloyd's car in the middle because that really could be either way, really. But yeah, that is what I think will be for the Legacy range. And that is what I think will be for the March seasonal set. So thank you all for watching. If you do, what do you think? Leave a thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for these so far or are you just going to wait for the photos? So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you there. Bye for now.